I brought this uh, book of mine up. It's The Sound of Star Wars, and I'm a big uh, audio fan. That's uh, I sell sound effects, by the way, Universal Sound Effects on uh, Infensia.com. Check those out. And uh, I've always been interested to record sound, so at least I have been so the past few years, so it's not really that long. Started with music, but then realized that it's difficult to sell music, because personally, my music might, might, <laughs> might not be that good. Maybe that's why it doesn't sell, or maybe it's because people that are making game don't really need the music until the project has failed, so it's too late to sell it then. Uh, they've started to uh, do a new prototype or something, so I thought, hey, hold on a minute, I'm gonna sell sound effects instead. So uh, that's something that you need early on, and surely so, they sold a lot better. Uh, so I got really interested, bought a lot of sound equipment, uh, audio recording gear, microphones, sound recorders, field recorders, you name it, got it. Cables, and I've recorded loads of sounds, uh, not as much as I want to, I want to do some more. Sync 2, uh, 1, 2, 80, 40, 3, MTG 3, 12 o'clock game. Anyway, long story short, I've got this book and it's The Sound of Star Wars and it actually describes a little bit how they were made as well. And check this out. Let's play one here. Uh, let's do 130. Okay, so everyone knows that this is from The Empire Strikes Back and it's when the hyperdrive of the Falcon, Millennium Falcon, is failing. And I checked out here and it's quite interesting to see where it comes from. And it comes from like an old biplane. I did a triplane last episode and uh, this is from a 1929 airplane, a biplane where the starter engine is failing and it sort of slows down and the propeller stops. And then they added some sounds like from uh, some plumbing in the studio. They had uh, some sound effects from uh, a fluorescent light or uh, actually it was a floor light. Let's see, what else was it? It was uh, the motor from a, a turret on a tank. It was... Uh, the hissing sound from a dentist like air blower thing. So all of that mixed together made the failing hyperdrive. It's not as extravagant, I guess, when you actually hear what the sounds come from. So now next time you see the hyperdrive failing, know that it's a failing biplane engine, some plumbing and things like that. And of course the air blower from that dentist. So keep that in mind next time you see, it. I've spoiled that film for you now. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the space theme slightly. We're on episode 99 and uh, I'm gonna do, uh, I haven't done this one before and I've started another three sentences in the one sentence. I, something I tend to do all the time. I don't seem to be able to complete the sentence without starting a couple of new ones. But I'm gonna try now and I'm gonna make a satellite stick to my original space theme. That's how this whole thing got started. And I'm on episode 99, which means that we're only one episode away from a big celebration now. So I'm starting to plan that finally. It's gonna be exciting and I hope you join me for that one as well. So a satellite it is, I haven't done that before. I'm gonna keep it low poly. I'm gonna go with a cyberpunk start scene that I've got a few times. So check out uh, my early videos from the cyberpunk room if you wanna check out the, the download of this one. Satellite. Satellite. Whoa, whoa. Ted Yardestad. Um, old uh, song there from the 70s. Never mind. Ready. Steady. Go. We're off. You. Uh, auto mirror, of course. Tab into edit mode and control R. Let's do loop cuts. And I'm going to do my old trick here with loop tools. I'm going to make this into a low poly cylinder. So let's do circle there. That's it. Finished. A tube here. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. And I'm just going to. Oh, it's shiny. 
e to extrude, s to scale, e to extrude. I'm gonna do like a Hubble telescope type of uh, cylindrical shape, I think. Every satellite needs uh, these little, uh, like, solar panels, I guess. That's the way they get energy, I suppose, here. So let's go shrink that a little bit. Get this arm out to, oh, that will work, I guess. Shift D to duplicate it, E to extrude, and let's just do big solar panels, like so, maybe. Maybe not huge, just big. And scale, why? I have to try to listen to my, my kid, but they're shouting for my mom, or not for my mom, for their mom at the moment, so I'll, I'll, I'm safe. Scale, why? Scale, why? Oh, I've got, uh, let's do period, medium point scale, scale, why? There we go, finally. That took forever, just about. Control R, let's do like those cell type of things, panels. So shift control to there. I to inset again to get the individual. Alt S to get, do long face normals there. And I think it's a bit too thick. So I'm just gonna flatten these to there. And let's make these dark. For some reason, they're, they're always dark. Maybe they attract light better or something, I don't know. And I think I'm gonna rotate these, rotate on the uh, X axis, no? Okay. Oh, comma, global, rotate, X. There we go. And I'm gonna put another set on here. Already eight minutes in, and I wasted it. Shift D to duplicate it. Let's do double arrays here of solar panels. They're blocking each other a bit. That's a, a criminal offense, I think, in space science. So let's move them apart a little bit. L to select that link, and Shift D to duplicate. Put an arm out here. Reaching out into space. And G, I'm just gonna wing it. So it doesn't really matter if it doesn't connect properly. You're not gonna see it in low poly. Don't inspect it too close, I guess. Control R, we'll put a little cap thing on here. Control R, Control R, I don't know what this would be. Maybe you could screw this thing off. Probably not, that'd be unsafe. E to extrude, S to scale. I to inset twice and then B for boundary. E to extrude in, make a hole there. And should we put I to inset here as well, we'll do like a hole there. Uh, we'll put some more interesting features, I'll do Alt R or Control R to loop cut that one. I to inset, Alt S to scale it down, G, dark, I want to darken this whole thing down a little bit. So to there. We'll put a satellite dish on here as well, so I'll borrow that one for now. Shift D to duplicate it, let's get rid of that one, dissolve, X I press there. And then let's do P to separate selection and then apply the mirror modifier, control A there. Tab into edit mode on it. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that one. There's all edges. Okay, that I don't want to do. Uh, scale it down. E to extrude, Alt Z so you don't have to see through. Let's Alt select on the edge there. Alt D, extrude long face normals. And Alt D, I've got a message of some sort. That's the downside of doing this in the day and time. People are trying to reach me. So that's our satellite dish. Shift D, scale this one down. Scale X, E to extrude, S to scale. Oh, this looks a bit cartoony, never mind. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, that's gonna be all right. Let's right click on this now, set origin to surface so we can rotate it a little bit better. Let's just have one satellite this year. This is to send the imagery back home. So 5.57 on the clock left. Let's put the dish there. Now I'm just gonna... That, the beautiful thing is that you, I, I guess you can't really fail because uh, no one knows what this particular satellite looks like. That's why I like to make stuff that doesn't exist, really. So Because now I can just take some random faces and E to extrude that one. And here, let's... Just throw a lot of detail on there. Control R, loop cut, control R, loop cut. Shift control to there, maybe. E to extrude down. Let's make that cyberpunky, shiny magenta. Let's make these dark. Uh, G there. And should we put like a wire of some sort here? A thick wire, it'll be. So Shift E to duplicate it, scale it down. And Maybe I'll actually make it round as well. Sub right click, subdivide, and circle that thing. And then G to move it in, and then I'm just going to control right click to extrude that into there. And then here we'll put some more features. That, this is the beautiful thing, like literally you, you, can't, you can make it look ugly, but you can't really fail. It could be anything, the engineers here. I guess if a space engineer 
looked at it. They'll be like, what's that thing for? And I couldn't answer it, but it needs to be there. So 436, we'll just keep going with this. Uh, put a little hatch here, maybe. I to inset. Okay, let's select all of them. I to inset. And E to extrude down, make it dark there. We've got the solar panels here. Maybe we should do some more stuff under these arrays here. So maybe E to extrude. That could be some support there. We need one here as well then. E to extrude. And it could be maybe something here as well. Shift D to duplicate, E to extrude, E to extrude. I don't know what this would be, but it needs to be there. E to extrude, E to extrude. It's this, oh, Alt Z to see through. I need to grab that little face there. No, did I get it? No, wrong side. Tricky. Uh, I'm gonna get it. Yep, E to extrude. Okay, that was unnecessary. Didn't didn't even add that much to the whole thing, but never mind. Control and shift select a bunch of these. I to inset, E to extrude. Oh, we can do here. We can throw some uh, holes in here. Uh, probably, again, not a good idea. I to inset, circle, E to extrude. Some cylindrical stuff here. Control R. Oh, do you know what? 323, we need fins again. Every spaceship's got fins on it. No Swedes, only fins. And I know this is a satellite. It doesn't probably need fins, but I cannot make a space object without fins on it. And should we do some, uh, like a blue light in this one, maybe? I just need some uh, emission here to get it to light up. And this dish, I think I want a different color. Make it dark so it has a contrast there. Okay, and again, I have no idea really what I'm going to do. So let's go here, Alt, or Inset. Oh, I did O for proportional. Inset, Alt, E, extra long face normals. Scale that one down. Here we could do some holes as well, not that you're going to see them. Uh, I to inset, Alt E, extra long face normals. G, okay, how am I doing? 230, let's just keep going with the flow here now. Okay, here we can do uh, some coolant thing. I don't know why you didn't need that in space. It's probably going to be plenty cool there. But Alt E, extra extrude long face normals, Control plus, different color. And I guess usually there's like some shiny stuff as well, isn't it? So should we do some shiny, like reflective here? I don't know what that's for either, but cool it down or something. Or reflect off the heat waves, I don't know. Put in the comments if you know why they're wrapped in uh, like foil sometimes. I can only imagine it's like to reflect off the heat or something. So let's get it into like a orange color there or something. Okay, and again, let's just put some more detail on it. I to inset all the extra long face normals and here a little hatch going down, E to extrude. 135, I'm just gonna go with the flow now. I to inset alt S to extrude that on. Should we put another round hole here somewhere? Oh, I've got some issues here. I'm not really happy with the way that looks, but never mind. That orange color there could have been different. Whoa, what happened then? I think I disabled all the lights. That's okay. Uh, let's go get a bit of contrast going in there. These are all right, I think. And here, let's do one minute to go. And you're gonna guess uh, I'm not gonna be able to add anything spectacular here, I don't think. Maybe some antennas. Shift D, duplicate, E to extrude. And scale that on down, E to extrude scale down on the same place I don't know that looks weird but that, that's okay here we'll do again just some more detail that's all I'm asking for control R scale control R scale and here I to inset all the extra long face normals here we'll put some features well all the extra long face normals and 16 seconds and we have time to put a little bit more glow into the then and a little bit more glow four seconds we got some cyan glow as well there. that's it Mop! i always make that weird sound when i'm finished so okay 
It looks uh, more like a little space station, I can, I guess, with the fins. <laughs> I don't know why I did it uh, that way. Should we put... All right, guys, I'm not really terribly happy with this one. I don't know what I really expected. It looks like a sausage, a metal sausage with some, uh, I don't know, waffle irons or something on the side here. So it could have gone a little bit better. Maybe it's because it was too low poly, the cylinder. Maybe it's because it's got light sources or the emission on it. Maybe it's uh, because the panels are too uh, thick. I'm not sure. Hmm. But you can't really be happy with all of them. But I guess if you're going to just have a satellite, maybe in a little game, it could orbit something, some like random planet or junk or moon or space station. I don't know. Maybe from a distance, they look all right. I think maybe it looked a little bit too low, low poly, this cylinder here. I should have probably like subdivided it a little bit more, made it a little bit more proper cylindrical shaped. Uh, but other than that, I guess you could use it for some sort of a, a game prop. Maybe you could blow it up or something in a shoot 'em up game. But all right. Uh, maybe next time I'll uh, do a satellite that looks a little bit better. Who knows if I'm ever going to make one in the future. All right, that's it. Quick one this week as well, uh, because I need to save up now for the big episode 100 next week. So make sure that you come back next week. Don't miss that one. And uh, we're going to celebrate that one a little bit, of course. Maybe I'll recap a little bit of uh, what's been done through the whole year. I can't believe it's been 100 episodes soon, so... All right, until next week, give it a thumbs up if you want and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you next week for sure. Don't miss that one. Don't miss episode 100 next week, next Thursday at the usual time. So take care until then, and I'll see you. Bye for now.